Ann Barnhart. That's the Wilma baby. Ann Barnhart of the Wooden Spoon. Of the Wooden Spoon, yes, of the Order of the Wooden Spoon, yes, sir. All right, now, what am I doing wrong in life here? Um, I, I have had an idea to drum up money here and there. I, I do paintings. They take me a couple of weeks, and I put them up for auction, and you just throw a wooden spoon up on eBay, and it's making more than any painting that I ever sold. <laughs> what is going on? Well, you know, when you when you say your name out loud and post your address and burn coriums with vacant bookmarks and, and declare tax strikes and do all kinds of things, um, you know, it, it, makes, it makes an impression. We've talked about this uh, off the air before about how um, anonymity, while I can certainly see your argument for it. Um, that I'm ballless. I don't know. I don't know how much how much you can accomplish if you insist upon remaining an anonymous person. You know. So explain the spoon. What what's the impetus behind this? Um, I am I the office here. This this residential condo, which was my office, which I've been living in, is going to be sold on the courthouse steps in a few weeks, and so I am clearing it out. I'm. I was thinking about you know. It, it's textbook, it's the textbook mortgage fraud thing, you know, they they sold my they sold my mortgage to the government. There's no chain of custody on all of this. If if any of your listeners have, have followed in in any way this whole notion about what's going on in the mortgage market, I'm a textbook example of that. But, you know, it would cost into the five figures in terms of attorney's fees and um title insurance and, and all this stuff in order to fight all this and you know what i don't want to live here anymore i've been sitting watching the news and and I'm, i have to say i'm truly surprised that colorado has turned into the locus of of totalitarianism apparently in this country um colorado sucks i, I don't want to be here anymore i want to be done with all this i want to be rid of everything I want to be, I want to, like, own absolutely nothing, and I want to fall off the grid, and I don't want to participate in this, in this, in any of this anymore, including any sort of property ownership. I just want to be done. I want to, like, turn into a, a mountain man and grow an enormous long beard and just, you know, eat, eat raw honey and stuff like that. that. That's the point to where I am now. So I say, you know what? Thanks be to God. Bring it, sell the thing on the courthouse steps. That's the news, folks, and I am out of here. So the the day after this is sold on the courthouse steps, you get in a car, or is the car gone? Uh, maybe the car is gone too. I haven't really decided, and it'll be the day before it's sold on the courthouse steps, and the keys will be left sitting in the middle of the living room. Where are you going? I don't know. I've got offers, you know. All kinds of people have said you can come and crash. You know what? Maybe I'll just start taking people up on that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna float, and I'm gonna do my thing, and it's, it's, it's gonna be good. I feel, I feel better than I felt in a long time. To be completely honest with you, I told you uh, a couple of months ago that you're free to come here, and yes. you still are. Yep. Absolutely. But, but I would have preferred if you showed up with a wooden spoon. Well, I've got a drawer full, so if you want me to hold one in reserve, I can do that. Have you sold anything else? No. So, will the wooden spoon be the sole item, and will it be kind of iconic? No, I don't think so. Um, I think now that I've established, when I first put the idea on the blog, judging from the emails that I got, people were not understanding what I was doing. So I thought, okay, I'm going to put this wooden spoon on, and the bid is going to stall at like $2.75. And that's not what happened. I put the spoon on, and within, you know, we're just coming up now on 24 hours. The listing's been up, and it's a three-day listing, so it expires on Monday night, and the bid's at 500 right now. So apparently there are people out there in, in some sort of quantity who kind of understood the drift of, of what I was doing. So... That's very, very cool. 
All right, we're all going to keep an eye on this. We hope that it goes through the roof. Um, can the government take this eBay money from you? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm still I'm still technically doing a little bit of business through PayPal, and that hasn't been that hasn't been touched yet. Again, I'm just abandoning it all to the divine providence. You know, um, I, I firmly believe that there has been a hedge of protection around me since I did the Korean burning, and um, you know, if that's if that's what happens, I'll chalk it up to it being God's will, and we'll figure something else out. But so far, right now, it looks like it's okay. And the IRS has not put through a levy on my bank account since the last time they did it in October. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm being watched that closely or not. I, I haven't been receiving oodles and oodles of correspondence from the IRS in the mail, so... Maybe they were partially satisfied with the money they took back in October, and I've fallen off the radar for a while. I don't know. And, you know, doing things like radio interviews about it that gets posted on the Internet is always <laughs> very intelligent. <laughs> I, know. I was going to ask you. <laughs> whatever, whatever. I mean, I've been that's been my entire modus operandi for all of this, is just, just fix your bayonet and charge, and whatever happens, happens. And, you know, so far, so good. I can't complain. It's all working out well, ironically enough, even though I'm about to, you know, lose my lose my domicile and all that, from my perspective, it, it feels quite good. It's the, the timing, I mean, this country is falling apart before our very eyes. I mean, each, each passing day, it's just worse and worse and worse. And it's clear that this is never, ever going to get fixed. So I say, yeah, get me liquidated, get me completely out of all of my personal property before the, the big poop well and truly hits the fan. So you're going to be underground like Kathy Bowden, but without the murder. Exactly. I, I kind of like that. It, it, yeah. I, I, I am actually jealous, a little excited for you, and yeah. uh, and regretting the fact that I have undescended testicles. And I've said this uh, <laughs> many, many times. They have surgeries for that now. Maybe a punch in the gut if you come up here. Yeah, you know. If you, you know, just a, just a good hernia will fix that too, <laughs> you know. So. Well, I, I believe you know how to contact me, but I want you to pull that, that move, like, you know, go over the bridge and make a real quick U-turn to see if anybody's following you before you come up to my place. Okay, okay. You know, like they do in the movies. Can you do that for me? Yep. Okay, good. Right, and, yeah. And then... Uh, Maybe I'll see you when you make your way, you know, you traverse uh, eastward. Or I don't know if that's the way you're going in case the feds are listening. Um, yeah, I have, I have neither, no idea. Honestly, neither do I. It'll be, uh, it'll be going in circles and spiraling and doubling back and all that kind of good stuff. So Maybe we should have a safe word. You know, we'll come up with a, a, secret, a, a, yeah, a, yeah, a, a secret word. A secret word. Yeah. Let's establish it right now. Yeah, so everybody can hear it. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's make it. Afghanistan, banana stand. Afghanistan, banana stand. So unless I hear you say that, I know I, I, I know you got the heat on you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna tune back in Monday. Uh, maybe we'll get we'll get another uh, interview with you uh, Monday night. See how it went. See if yeah. see, see if the money and, goes you know, into your PayPal account. For spoons, um, I have an enormous wooden spoon which is high capacity which will probably be illegal very, very soon, because, you know, anything high capacity is just too dangerous for human beings to have possession of. And, and hold on to your, to your underpants. Hmm. I have a wooden spork. Oh. I have a wooden spork. I'm waiting this for that one. It's a spoon. It's a fork. You will laugh. You will cry. It will become a part of you. Well... I don't know if you know, but I'm I'm selling um, a drawing I did of Jody Arias. Um, yes. Yes, you are aware of this. So whatever I make on that, I'm hoping I can flip it and get that spork. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make enough. Your sporks go for Christ. If a spoon's going for five hundred, the spork should be eight eight nine hundred dollars. Go into the four figures. It totally could. Four yeah. figures. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, with all this talk, I'm going to go make some pasta. And I will catch up with you Monday. All right. We'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye, Ann.